let's talk about get type, and we'll also do some comparing with our strings, and we'll talk about the equality double equal sign as well within your strings. Now you can use the capital string alias as you want to as well. It does work. Normally I just use lowercase. It depends on what you want to do. Really, it's the same thing. It's just an alias. Our strings are normally initialized to the empty string, but you can do that as well if you wanted to, just to let yourself know that you did initialize things. And we're just going to grab a first and second string and compare them within this. So we read from the console. You type that in and hit enter. And then we'll take two strings in. We're going to display the types first. I'll show you that you can use this full name, which is going to get the fully qualified name of that system type. And this includes the namespace. But you might get the same thing if you just use get type without that. So note that you can also do this too with your method, which is going to return something. And then dot full name is going to work from that type that you return to here. And that's going to use this property here. So just two ways to do that. And we'll see that in the output. You can also test for equality using the double equal sign, but this is the only one that works with the equality. And we're just going to say, is this S1 equal to S2? It'll see if the strings match exactly. And if they do, then we use the two string here. This is just going to return a true or false here, a Boolean. And it's in parens, so we can add that dot two string. Return a Boolean, which is going to be a value here that we can work with and then we'll just convert it to a string from whatever type it is it's a boolean and this second one doesn't work you can't do this you can't do a less than or greater than this is going to give you an error you have to use the other methods that we're going to describe below that we created within our compare strings so we're going to run this debug and take a look at this enter the first string we'll just put in something quickly. Now, they're both system.string, as you can see. Like I said, this is going to sometimes return the same thing. Is S1 equal to S2? No, false. That's returned a Boolean because they're not equal. A and V are different. So here we have the string 123A is less than 123V. So we're taking each character and comparing it to each character of this next string. If the character, last character in the source is greater than or equal to or less than the other character in the other string here, you're going to decide which one's going to be less or which one's going to be greater. This is going to take that character string as a value, as a numeric value, and compare those two. So it does that really, really quickly. And if one string is longer than the other, then that's obviously going to be greater than the larger one's going to be greater than the smaller one. I'll do it again. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three is going to be less than one, two, three, four because this has four characters. So if they're the same length, then that last character, after you compare everything else, is going to determine if they're going to be equal or not, as well as you're going with the first character first. You start from left to right, compare the two. If they're equal as you move to the right, then it's going to figure out that last character to see if they're equal or not to do that test. Let's take a peek at what we did. Well, this is going to return an integer, our string.compare method. First string, second string, then we have the value returned. No big deal. And if they're equal, now we're testing for the i is equal to zero, then that means they're equal if it returns zero. If it returns something that's less than zero, then string one is going to be less than string two. If i is greater than zero, then string one is going to be greater than string two. And then you just see we output our normal console.write line. So that's how it works. That's how the string.compare works. Very easy to get started, but this is how you would compare your strings. And as you can see here, hello is greater than hello, because capital H is further down the list in the character. It has a greater number behind the scenes, numeric value, than the lowercase h. So that's going to let you know that hello is greater than lowercase hello. There we go. And that's how you would compare your strings.